Hello America, this is Sean Bianca, GOP girl with Clean TV Live, again, had technical difficulties. So, Ivanka Trump, you owe Mr. Roy Moore an apology. Today, one of Roy Moore's accusers, Beverly Nelson, came out and admitted that she added notes to the yearbook signature that supposedly Roy Moore had signed. And now let's go back to Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump's statement a couple of weeks ago in the Associate, she told the Associated Press, there's a special place in hell for people who prey on children. She also said about, she also commented on the accusations, I've yet to see a valid explanation and I have no reason to doubt the victim's accounts. Ivanka, I have to ask you, do you think your father would be president had someone come out and said that about your father after 16 accusers had come out against your father? Thankfully, America did not listen to the 16 accusers, to the 16 accusers that falsely accused your father of sexual misconduct. Yes, Ivanka Trump, you owe Roy Moore an apology. And Ivanka, it might be nice if you endorsed Roy Moore as well, because the Republicans need Roy Moore in the Senate. Your father needs Roy Moore in the Senate. Um, speaking of the Senate and Congress, Yes, today, Al, uh, Al Franken stepped down. And, well, he didn't want to, but he was forced to. And, you know, with John Knoyers and Al Franken, and I, I just, you know what? I now look at Congress, and I now look at the Senate, and I think to myself, how many of these men are dropping their pants in their offices? How many of these men can't control themselves? How many of these men are chasing skirts instead of, instead of working? Hello, <laughs> Congress, Senate, we are not paying you to drop your pants. We are not paying you to show off your goods. We are not paying you to run around and chase women. Do that on your own free time. I don't know about you, but, but I work for a living. I don't have much free time. So you clearly aren't working. And being that we have Obamacare that we're still stuck with and couldn't get that done. Well, you know what? It's no wonder. Yes. Thank you, Senate. Thank you to the, to Congress. Um, on another note, the California fires. Uh, let us all keep California, uh, the people and the animals that are in danger from the fires in our prayers. Uh, Chelsea Handler came out and blamed the fires on the president. Okay, I'm not quite sure I get that. However, I have a different take. Perhaps the man upstairs is angry. Perhaps the man upstairs is angry at the California liberals that allowed a man who murdered a young, beautiful, white woman named Kate Steinle. Perhaps God is angry that the murderer of Kate Steinle was acquitted. Had California complied with federal immigration laws and turned Jose Zarate Garcia over to ICE, Kate Steinle would still be alive. Kate Steinle, her death should not be in vain. And that is why I have tweeted to the president and I have blogged to the president and I am saying now, Mr. President, build that wall. Build that wall in the memory of Kate Steinle and every other person that has been horrifically murdered by an illegal immigrant. 
I did a video uh, about a week ago after the Kate Steinle verdict and many people wanted the list of all of the states, all of the sanctuary states and all of the cities that have sanctuaries, all of the states that have sanctuary cities. And I listed them off very quickly. Uh, I have attached to this video my blog and at the end of the blog is a list of all of the states, all of the sanctuary states, and also a list of all of the states that have sanctuary cities within them. There are, I believe it is 20 states that have sanctuary cities. Yes. So <laughs> we have almost half of the country harboring illegal immigrants. So America is now safer for illegal immigrants and more illegal immigrant friendly than it is legal citizen friendly. It's, it's, it's horrible. It is absolutely unimaginable because in many other countries, if we tried to cross the border, we would be shot, we would be jailed, we would not be given housing, we would not be welcomed into the country, we would not be given free medical care, we would not be given food, we would not be given much of anything. And again, like I said, <laughs> Turkey, I know, shot three people trying to escape ISIS. And uh, they shot, I believe it was two women and a child. So there are many countries that have zero tolerance for illegal immigrants. I'm not asking to shoot illegal immigrants. I'm saying, let's stop them. Let's stop them with that wall, Mr. President. You've been talking about that wall. Ann Coulter, I heard her speak and she said the president does not need the approval of Congress or the Senate to build that wall. So Mr. President, get on it. I watched you at a rally tonight in Pensacola, Florida. You said, gonna build that wall, build that wall. Well, Ann Coulter tweets every single day, miles built, zero, and here we are, zero. Mr. President, Let's make America not only great again, but let's make America safe again and build that wall. Thank you for watching. This is Sean Bianca, GOP Girl with Clean TV Live. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.